What's up, family? This is the man. I'm at the Improv. I'm about to do We Go Live Showcase. It's going to be an amazing event. But I just wanted to check in with y'all and let you know about Action One Media. That's straight family right there. So shout out to Atum Ra and the whole crew. Get into action. They see that we young, yeah. They know that we stuck, yeah. They showing no love, yeah. They like what I love, man. They hating, they suspect. Get a bag and don't touch that. On the grind, you can't rush that. We kings and we young, man. They see that we young, yeah. You know that we stuck, yeah. They showing no love, yeah. They like what I love, man. They hating, they suspect. Get a bag and don't touch that. Yo, what it do, man? It's your brother, iTunes Ra, A1 MCs in the place to be. Hey, man, A1 MCs is a segment where we bring y'all the best and the brightest that H-Town and the world has to offer on the independent music scene. Uh, and this episode is, uh, nonetheless, uh, you know, one of the... Uh, the you know, one of the, the biggest things is, you know, whenever you start a company or whenever you start on your own entrepreneurship venture, uh, you know, you always need uh, people to believe in you. You know what I'm saying? Right. And, uh, you know, people that's going to see you where you're going to be before you even get there. Uh, and these two brothers that we here uh, have here today, uh, they were some of the artists that when we were launching our company, and we mm -hmm. were saying, hey, you know, we're trying to get off the ground. Uh, you know, can you come through and show us some love? Uh, you know, these brothers came through. And not only did they perform at our launch party, uh, they got us kicked off the ground. Uh, not only did they shut it down, uh, but, you know what I'm saying, I, I got to get put on to, you know what I'm saying, uh, two new artists, yeah. you know what I'm saying, that I definitely feel and I, I vibe to their music. So, yeah. King Malik and the Couch God, man, what's good, yo, man? Yo, 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 what's good? Hey, man, it's, it's, it's been a minute, man. How y'all boys been doing, man? Been Pretty doing all right, me, myself. Love that intro, by the way. Yeah, it was wow. beast. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. Hey, man, it's all love, man. <laughs> definitely one of the best I've had. Thank yeah, you for that, yeah, my for brother. Sure, for sure. Appreciate it. And I, like, I was just telling King Malik, yeah, the launch party, that's really the, um, when we got in kind when we first got with y'all. Yeah. And to see where y'all came from there, yeah, we definitely appreciate the love and hitting us up. For sure, for and, sure. Uh, <clears throat> make the time for us young gentlemen to come bless y'all. You know oh, yeah. what I'm saying? Thank y'all for oh, that. Oh yeah, most deaf, man. It's been it's been a long time coming, man. And like I said, man, we've been bringing people in and out, in and out. Right, right. And you know, well, it's like, man, what, how we how we gonna have all these people on? Right. And mm -hmm. we ain't got some of the people that believed in us, you know what I'm saying, before we was, was anything mm -hmm. else, man. So man, right. I, I definitely wanna give both of y'all the opportunity. Uh, we start with uh, you first, King Malik. Uh, just give an introduction to yourself, let the people know, you know what I'm saying, who you are, how long you've been doing music, where you from. All right, I'm King Malik, I'm from New Orleans. Yeah. I've been doing music since, um, I'd probably say about seventh grade, so that was right. probably when I was I don't know how old I was in seventh yeah. grade, but that was a long time ago. I'm out of school now, so. What's that? What's that, man? Facts. Yeah, yeah man. What about you, bro? Oh, uh, hello, world. Uh, IGB Couch Guard here checking in. Yeah. Straight out of New Orleans, East Show representative. Um, shout out to Katie Cuts. Can't forget them. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Uh, I've probably been doing music three, four years now, okay. I want to say. Um, definitely got into it. Uh, the closer I got with King Malik, I uh, started, that's how I got introduced to it. He was there when I recorded my first song. Shout out to the bro. Uh, shout out Laro, man. We got Laro over there yeah, in the cut. Yeah, yeah, you know yeah, what right, I'm right, right, My, Laro, my <laughs> guy Laro definitely coming soon. Yeah. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, but yeah, I've been doing music for a couple of years now. Um, yeah. Definitely got some uh, some more work in the, uh, in the books and got some work out there now. Streaming live, all platforms. Be on the yeah. lookout. Got Sofa Set. Got Painless. You know what I'm saying? We... Everybody doing work. Most of, most stuff, man. Um, who were some of y'all musical influences, you know what I'm saying, kind of coming up that, you know what I'm saying, kind of inspired you to uh, not only just rap, but kind of make the style of music that you all make? I'd okay. say like the Hot Boys, you know, the yeah. old New Orleans feel, the old No, no Limit, Hot Boys, uh, Cash Money, Young Money, uh, Soldier Slim. Who else you got, bro? 
Um, Bullshit. To answer the question, <laughs> uh, I definitely grew up listening to Hot Boys, Everything New Orleans, Soldier, um, BG, everybody. Um, definitely growing up, and then I had a uh, you know I heard some Zero growing up. You know what I'm saying? I definitely listened to them growing up, but to say what who influenced me to start rapping, I'm gonna be completely honest. Don't laugh. <laughs> it was King Malik. Yada yeah. D Money, Laro, all them guys. Honestly, this is me being honest because he act, he acts with influence. Up, he acts up. with influence. What's up? What's up? Being around them guys made me step up to the mic. Right. Um, up? Listening to Wayne and all them, that's what I was listening to as a child growing up. So I definitely pick pieces of their rap style and probably try to make it my own. But as far as who influenced me to actually get on the mic and do what I'm doing, it's got to be uh, Paper Bandits Entertainment. For man, real, for real. For sure, for sure, man. Shout them out, man. Hey, man. I, I'm, I'm definitely a person that believe in giving people their flowers while they still here. Right. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Instead right. of waiting to, you know what I'm saying, they pass on or until right. we have some type of falling out for us to realize, dang, how much, you know what I'm saying, uh, somebody influenced us. Mm -hmm. uh, so, man, I, I definitely uh, do appreciate that. Um, so, man, just, um, you know, with you all being uh, independent artists, man, you know, that's the one thing that we, we try to uh, highlight here uh, to not only give the, the platform and the spotlight, uh, but also just kind of talk about the grind. Uh, because I think that a lot of people do not realize what kind of goes into, you know, saying getting from A to Z from mm -hmm. the uh, creation of, you know, what I'm saying the the concept of the project to actually, you know, getting to a video and releasing it and things like that. Um, so what is it that kind of motivates and drive you all to to stay independent, uh, you know, when it's it's not easy, you know, saying as it would be being on a, ma a label or something? <laughs> I'm gonna let you on get that, Kimberly. You got that. Oh, <laughs> that right, right, right. question. Um, for me, um, what drive me to stay independent is just basically, you know, I I I I do a lot of research. I watch a lot of YouTube. Mm -hmm. A lot of artists, especially with the social media, how it is, are able to speak their mind more. So a lot of dudes will tell you that's in the game right now who are signed. The labels will tell you, "Hey, man, don't." You could do all this, all the stuff the label doing. You could right. do it yourself. Right. They telling you that in right. interviews right. they doing right. and just stuff they recording and putting out there. So definitely that, um, and seeing you know the type of success I've seen. You know, just me personally, just having somebody say they like my music is is fine with me. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I just need a couple more million people to say yeah. that. You know, right. what I'm saying? Right. Right. <laughs> but um, as far as like pushing the music, doing as far as re the recording, the video shooting, all that's done in house. So you know, all that money gets brought back home. It gets circulated right. within the camp. Smart. You know what I'm saying? Instead of, you know, getting an advance from a label and then on them for the rest of my life. You know what I'm saying? Right. Stuff like that. Um, that definitely would drive me to stay independent. Most definitely, man. And, you know, one thing, man, I, I appreciate about both of you all is, you know, both of y'all take y'all craft seriously. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? Because, you, know? you know, everybody grew up freestyling. You know what I'm saying? And mm -hmm. in the car with the homies, you know what I'm saying, when we good. Uh, but, you know, it's it's different to, you know what I'm saying, take that step to actually, you know what I'm saying, put things on wax, lay out a plan for a project. Um, and so for, for both of you all, when was it uh, in your life when you kind of realized that, hey, you know what I'm saying, I, I can actually... Uh, do this seriously and you know I can potentially you know earn some coins from my family uh mine was when I did my first serious tape like I did a couple of playful tapes of course yeah. not playful but like not going like when I first started but when I made a project called All Hell King Malik that's when I realized I was just on a different yeah, level and that's when I went serious I felt like I turned serious with it for real yeah for me um Definitely my my early work. I hope nobody ever hears. Oh, of course, <laughs> hey, bro, you already know. Bro, you already bro. know. I got I got a couple tracks, couple CD, couple albums that uh, I hope never comes to light. <laughs> yeah. But um, it was definitely um, the more I started working at it, and the more I started hearing myself get better. Yeah. The more I found my sound, who I how I wanted to come on the tracks, um, you know, my message, stuff like that. I don't really. Um, like I said, I, I, I grew a lot of confidence has grown in my work over the past couple of years, you know what I'm saying? Um, with the help of the team. Um, and just 
having somebody behind you just, hey, Ma, when the next project coming out? Hey, when when the next album, when the next single coming out? Like, when is it coming saying, out, Ma? Yeah, like Ma, that. When you is it coming out, Ma? Cop yeah. Chronicles is coming soon. Got a couple, yeah. got one more track I need done. Um, and then that album will be ready to drop um, mm. for those asking. Okay. Um, shout okay. out to Kim Elite. Um, but yeah, man, definitely just having somebody in your ear all the time. Like when the next this, when the next keep pushing, don't get tired, don't get lazy because it's easy to be irrelevant. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's easy to be relevant too. But it's just as easy to become irrelevant. So definitely got to keep the, the streets flooded with music. Most stuff, man. What's one thing that y'all go through as an independent artist that people don't think, you know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? When they're when they thinking about y'all's journey and y'all's struggle. Um, I, you got that, King? I feel like they own, um, it's a struggle. It's really a struggle. Like yeah. it's not, uh, it's not high. It's not easy, easy, easy. You really got to work and grind and go hard at it. Like it's really a grind and struggle that people don't really understand, I guess. What's that? Yeah, uh, I definitely agree with that. Um, oh, yeah, no, me, myself, um, yeah, I definitely feel that um, the struggle is real. Um, especially in uh, with today's society, I feel like a lot of people don't really like you until everybody is already yeah, liking you, that. you know? So I believe you have, it's a lot of illusion that goes on. You have to give the illusion that you're on. Right, right, right now. And no, that's going to, that, that'll right. definitely get, that'll definitely call, right. like cause people to flock to your music if right. they feel like you already on. Right. right, you know what I'm saying. Based on what you putting out on social media, it's a hell of a tool. Right, you know, and uh, I'm definitely trying to get better at using it. Yeah, because I I done seen it catapult a lot of careers, a lot of careers from in your living room. Facts, you know, that's the way. So definitely yeah. trying to get there. Yeah, that's man, the way. One thing, man, I, I always got to ask, man, as we uh, close up, I definitely want to give y'all the opportunity to promote any projects and let right. people know how they can get at you. But man, one thing I always got to ask uh, artists, man. Uh, how do you deal with being in the studio and somebody you're featuring a song with drops a whack verse? <laughs> uh, I'm gonna let King catch that. I'm cutting it. I ain't got. I ain't wow. I'm cutting it. Wow. This is all you gotta yeah, go. I'm about to go. Yeah, man. I'm about to go. Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm probably not as cutthroat yeah. as uh, yeah. the CEO yeah. over there. <laughs> Oh uh, me myself, cause I just I'm just uh enjoying the fact God. that somebody wants to work with me. However, yeah. I do share an opinion if yeah. I think they could come a different way. Yeah. Especially if it's my song. <laughs> right. Now if that. I'm doing a feature for somebody, then I'm just gonna take over. If yeah. they if the song's trash, I'm just gonna take <laughs> over. But if it's my song and you not coming hard as I need you to come, I'ma say something politely. I'm not gonna King yeah, Maliki. Yeah, like, yeah, I, I ain't gonna right. just King like, Maliki doo, like that. You know what I'm hey, saying? Delete that. But um, yeah, man, that's how I would approach it. You know what I'm saying? But yeah, no, definitely would like the same intensity. Man. Definitely. For sure, for sure, man. Uh, well, man, as, as we uh wrap up, man, y'all got any projects on the on the way? I know you just you just talked about yours, man. Uh, what's what's gonna be yeah, the name um, of it where people can get? I got um, actually, I got Sofa Set out now, available on all pl uh, streaming platforms. Okay. Um, definitely have a new album dropping soon. Couch Guard Chronicles be Couch on the Look out. Be on the lookout. IGB Couch Guard here checking in. PBE CMC for life, man. I got Big King out right now. I got Painless out right now. I got a project I'm dropping July 4th called Royal Flush. Okay. It's like a bunch of songs. It's probably going to be like 28 songs. Okay. Just okay. random songs and just drop them. It's, they all the streets. Listen to it yesterday. Streets, like we yeah, said, nice flooding the like streets. It. Most definitely. Most definitely. Where they can catch that at? On all, all platforms. All okay. streaming platforms. And when they got we go there. <laughs> we're all all on that right now. <laughs> we're available <laughs> everywhere. Nobody no, can say they can't find us. We are everywhere. Wherever you get your music from. They there. We there. They there, man. Go look for us. Type for us sure. in. For sure, man. If anybody wants to follow y'all, holler at y'all for features, and how can they do that? PBE King Malik on all social medias. Yes, um, IGB cou underscore Couch Guard on IG, Couch Guard CMC on Twitter. Everybody can get at me. CMC Booking 7 at Gmail for the feature. I will accept all features. I don't charge. We all want this.
Man, most deaf, most deaf, man. Boys out here getting it, man. Hey, man, like I said, man, in the beginning, man, we appreciate y'all. Um, we definitely gonna make sure that uh, we get some of that new music and we push it on our platforms as well. Definitely appreciate uh, because, that. Man, appreciate just like that. I said, y'all know, man, whenever y'all got something dropping, man, just hit me up, bro. You know what I'm saying? Y'all can always come back. Y'all can always come through. Because uh, like I said, y'all are a part of our special uh, A1 family, man. I always will be uh, from our original day one supporters. Yes, and we sir. Gonna make sure that we, as we grow, man, we got to show love and support to like i said all of those man so like i said man y'all ready to drop man come back through man yes I sir boy, man. We got definitely appreciate y'all appreciate y'all for real a1 for sure, for sure man it's your brother itunes rod a1 mcs man we out peace